Hi, this is Mike with Poor Zach Golf, taking your game to the next level and beyond. Today's lesson we're going to take you in with a college player named Monica. We're going to put her through a flight scope skills test to evaluate how her scoring clubs 120 yards and in are performing. After that, we're going to sharpen up some of the shorter clubs and really make sure those 40 and 50 yarders are working well. And then we're going to go down to the short game and really tighten that up and talk about a little more course management. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we hope you enjoy the video. It's okay, give me a little shorter backswing, okay? A little less wrist for the shot. Good. Go more, go, go less wrist on the way back. Less wrist. Boom. Good. Good. There you go again. Feel like you're pointing it straight back to the clubhouse. Good. Through. Now we're talking. Do that again. It's awesome right there. Does that feel different? Yeah. Yeah, let's hit one like that. Awesome. Good, 45, awesome right there. Let's do that again, okay? Before? Yeah, absolutely, and that's kind of what it looks like. And here's the thing, we're hitting this ball 50 yards, right? How much hinge do we really need to hit a golf ball, literally, that we could almost throw one to? You know what I mean? So the thing you have to understand about that is the hinge, right, is a very powerful aspect of the golf swing. It creates a lot of speed and power down to the golf shot. This is a shot that's more about precision, right? And because it's a shorter shot, we're going to feel like our wrists are a little bit more like, say, Steve Stricker, right? Somebody who is very quiet with the hands, especially for these shots that are shorter. So I think that's going to make a big, big difference for you because I definitely noticed as we're making these swings, we're getting full hinge here on shots that really don't require it. Now, why that becomes hard is because now, in this short amount of time, you have to time perfectly the unwinding of that, right? And there we have a lot of inconsistency and contact, okay? So let's feel more dead hands, let's feel club more straight back, and allow yourself then to turn through. Better, much better. Wow. Good. 46 again. Awesome. Same thing. Rehearse it once. Feel less hinge. Boom. Perfect. Yep. Awesome right there. Wow. Oh. What, what kind of different contact is that right there, huh? 51.6 there. So, Gabe, I want you to get a face on of this because we'll be able to really do... Um, a good before and after with her and showing kind of the rehearsals, number one, how different they are now with a little less hinge, a little more of the club straight back. And I think we're going to see another one that's pretty much right on the dot at 50 yards for us. Wow, big difference there. 56, okay, a little far, not bad, but you've noticed now we've taken away those heavy shots. Give me one more. Much more low point control. This is really what's going on here is the sternum, the hands and the club are all moving together, right? Again, one of the best wedge players in the world, Steve Stricker, somebody who does not use a lot of wrists or hands, and it makes our low point control easier versus harder, right? Whoa, beautiful right there. Awesome. <clears throat> beautiful. Going to be a hair short, but that was fantastic because that club kept moving through the golf ball. You know what I mean? Very, very different type of heavy shot there than the other ones earlier today. Awesome. 54. Beautiful. So I think that's really good, right? Something we're going to practice a lot in our game. I want you putting a lot of time into your 50-yard shot, really owning it off all eyes and really dialing it in and understanding that I think, you know, if we were to look at some of those um, nine irons and pitching wedges where you're trying to take a little bit off, 
And if we're getting that full hinge and kind of full swing, we're probably easily getting that little extra jump that we were talking about before. Yeah. You know what I mean? So let's actually hit a couple of those too. Let's get like a pitching wedge out. Um, and I think was that, what's the number on the pitching wedge? Is that the 100 yard shot you don't like? Yeah. Yeah, let's hit some of those then. I love that. <laughs> so same feel, just a little bit less wrists, okay? Boom. Because you can go three quarter, and you can go three quarter full hinge, and you can go three quarter a little less, little, little deader hands, right? And I think that for us, um, the deader hands is going to really explain that little jump of back of the green shots you were seeing before. Absolutely. Yeah, you're just turning back and turning through. Right, weight is still left. Chest, hands, club, together back, together through. Trying to make a very simple motion for yourself. Good, very wristy on that one. Push that club straight back more. Boom. Good, now go back to the top again for me. And how much of your weight is in your right foot? 30? Okay, good. Good. Better there. Awesome. One more. Good. Boom. There you go. Go ahead. Good. 85. So we're going to keep the wrist structure the same. We're just going to make a little bigger backswing, okay? Go rehearse it up to that spot. There it is, boom. Kind of shoulder height, excellent. Good. Hmm. You just the setup gets way off, and that's where you get in trouble. It can start to get really, really, really crouched down. 98, let's do it again. Let's just dial that in, you know? Trying to create the simplest way possible for you to hit this shot. Good, a little loss of control on that practice swing, right? We want to be, have way more control of that power. There we go. Oh, we might have two in a row. 95, I'll take that, right? At least we're below the hole putting right up it. Let's get one more. Tell me this though, I want you to describe to me the feeling of where you're at and how you're gonna return that club to the same spot to get the same distance result. I feel like um, thinking of like three quarter backswing and then the most important is having your weight like in the front. Beautiful. Absolutely, right? That backing up, keeping that weight forward, like we said, keeping that low point in front of the golf ball, okay? That's going to lead to much, much better contact um, and much more solid strikes. Awesome. Really good balance there on that. Hmm. Ninety-five again, perfect. Awesome, Kay. So um, really, really good stuff there. Let's make sure that we keep working on that aspect of our game, mm -hmm. keep controlling those spots in our backswing, and really beginning to kind of just when you're doing this stuff, you got to be obsessed with contact, yeah. right? Because unless the contact is there, our distance control won't be there, right? And today, getting that weight left, quieting those wrists up a little bit, right? Those are some things that allow you to, number one, get your contact better, mm -hmm. and then number two, allow your control of your backswing to produce distant, different yardages. So, very good stuff. Um, let's head over and do a little chipping or putting, okay? Yeah. Awesome. Good job. We hope you enjoyed watching our video with Monica. The Flight Scope Skills app is really a great way to dial in the yardage for all the players, and sharpening up the short game is something wonderful to do too. Please click the link in the description box down below to get your three free videos that are going to help you with your game. And as always, leave any questions, comments down below. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed.